all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day seven back on our mission to make it to the moon to build a mining base for the uh, Intergalactic Mining and Salvage Company. So this is what we've been working on. Uh, I am actually putting in a outpost and let's go over here and get charged up. There we go. I did a little bit of off camera work and so let's go down and take a look and see what I've gotten done so far. And then today, oh crap, what's going on here? Close that. I must have stepped off. My magnetic boots let go. All right. So I've been moving the ship around to try to keep it in the sun. Uh, but here is our outpost entrance. Let's get squared away here. Let's see where we're at. There we go. And let's uh, fly into here. And let's see if we can land. There we go. All right, so I'd gotten the refinery in. I'd gotten a uh, small cargo container in. I need to build out my connection where my mining ship will connect into here once I get it built. And then back in here, I got this room all hollowed out so I can start building away. And that's what we're gonna work on at some point today. I did get a battery built. So if we look at the battery here, it's got a uh, stored power of just a little less than uh, one megawatt. So uh, we need to work on getting that set up. And what I've done is my plan is to build solar panels and let's fly down to where they are going to be located. They are going to be sticking out down at this end down here. I kind of got the platform started and so kind of the idea is that the rotors will sit, the first rotor will sit on top of here and I want to put in, um, where's my diagram at, here it is, I want to put in a total of 12 solar panels, there will be three above three below on each side on the arms that will stick out Oop, that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to change a little bit here and so they will stick out on each side here so what i want to also do is let's see if we can't what do i do i have some steel on? i do uh maybe start getting since I do have a battery, I'm not going to run any of the big heavy equipment. But let's see if we can do this. Lights. Uh, lights. Oop. Uh, oh, I suppose I don't have it in the progression yet. Uh, well, I should. Uh, oh, you know... Where are they? Uh, neon. Neon tubes. Let's see if those come up. All right. There we go. So if you have followed me before, you'll know that I like using the neon tubes too. And let's do this. Let's drop these down. And of course I need a interior plate. But I just, what I like to do is put a couple of these up, un, uh, not completely built out, and then ta attach a light to it. All right, let's get back to the ship here. We should be able to grab some interior plates, be able to put a couple of these up, and... Uh, let's do this. 
it into here. And I need interior plates. I know I got a bunch of them, so I should... Let's get about 10 of those. That should be more than enough. And then I think we need a couple of these. I think that's all I need to put a light up. So let's go and put these up down there. So we can just see what we're doing with our solar panel. Since we are on the dark side of the asteroid right at the moment. Uh, okay. All right, let's do this. Put that there. And let's see if we can get one more up on top. Here, right there. Okay. Now, going to G, lights. And we're just going to grab one of these interior lights. They work pretty well. And let's just put that right there. And we'll put some more lights on the other side as well. But this should help light things up out here. And let's see what we got here. Uh, let's go yellow light. I like that. Load from profile. Uh, we've got 20 meters on that. Uh, let's kick our intensity up just a little bit to four. And... All right, so that gives us a little more light out here. So we can see what we're doing. Uh, so I'm going to start building out on this. And as I get a little farther along, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Well, here's a little bit of an update, just uh, which is not surprising. Uh, I got three solar panels on here, but it looks like I didn't bring the platform out quite far enough. So let me do this. Just want to kind of give you an update. Uh, if we take and go one, two, three, five. Let's come out four more blocks. So if we come out four more blocks, that would put one, two, three, four. That would put the edge about like here. Uh, let's go one more. I mean, we've got the ability to do that. Uh, we'll have to add more reinforcement because I tried to make it look like it had reinforcement here. And so we will... I'll do some more work on that to add the reinforcement. Uh, so let's go ahead and grind this down. Uh... And get this stuff out of the way. All right. All right. Well, once I get this set back up and moved out a bit more, I'll uh, catch back up with you here in a little bit. Well, I kind of got the skeletal portion of this set up. Uh, I should have plenty of clearance now, both the platform and the asteroid itself. Uh, this is the end of it, so that should, shouldn't uh, have any problems at all with that uh, hitting the asteroid. So now, I just need to get started building on this. And let's uh, go ahead and uh, start to get these in. I need to... That's that one. Be nice to get a couple of these. All right, let's start with that. And get back to our ship. Let's see how much we're going to need uh, and what we're going to have to start building for these solar panels. 
Uh, yeah, solar cells and girders. I knew I was gonna have to do that. So let's get into production and let's go ahead and get girders started. I probably need at least a hundred of those. And I know uh, 30, uh, at least a hundred of these to get at least three of those done. And let's uh, grab this. And let's go ahead and fly on down there. Ah, sun comes out, I kind of get lost of where everything is at. Yeah, everything is kind of backwards, upside down. Uh, but that's what happens out here in space. So let's uh, see what we can do here. All right, so we got, uh, we're not gonna build the bulletproof glass. We'll kind of ignore that. We just need the solar. Let's see how much more we can get built here. Again, that's just the solar cells. It would be nice to get these solar, get this solar array in. The other thing I gotta build is a computer block. And that should have kind of gotten everything on there. Let's go ahead and build this arm out. So we're gonna put in a script in here that uh, will allow these solar panels to collect the maximum amount of solar energy from the sun as it's swinging around. So hopefully I've put this in a reasonably good area. We got that arm done. Now let's uh, that. Actually, I should have done that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to clear everything out. We need these rotors built. Okay, so let's uh, get into our inventory and clear everything out. Uh, let's clear that, clear that, clear that, clear that, clear that. So now we can... That... That, I think, hopefully. Now I locked those rotors. There we go. Right. And that. I locked those rotors so they shouldn't twist or anything on us as we are building this stuff out. And so let's see what else we need to get here. Uh, we'll get that built out and then I'll continue to build away here. So I need the large tubes and the bulletproof glass, which we're not gonna worry about. All right, so large tubes. And let's do 30 of those, I believe. like we're going to have to come back anyway. All right, so let's fly over there again. And let's see if we can't get something online here. There we go. All right, everything but the bulletproof glass, which I'm not going to worry about the bulletproof glass. And still need a few more solar cells. Uh, let's see if we can finish, see what we got here. And here. Alright, still need large tubes. Let's go get... Hopefully, we've gotten everything here now that we can get those done. 
and just need the bulletproof glass, which is fine. They'll function just fine without it. So what I'm trying to do is get these solar panels up and running so that my batteries that I end up building inside will start charging. And this is going to be the main source of energy to keep those batteries charged when we're not here. Which shouldn't be a problem, actually. These should do just fine. But we will have alternative in there. All right. So we've got that. So what I'm going to do is sit here and try to get this finish, finish getting this built out. And then we can put our... Uh, computer block in and then uh, try to get this up online so it's working properly. So once I get uh, the rest of this build out, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. All right. Well, I have uh, managed to get the solar panels, solar array all in place and I've got the rotors in. Uh, I still need to build the computer block and so we're going to go inside for that. And then we're going to need to load the script and rename these uh, or create a group out of these rotors so that uh, it will control these solar panels. So let's see what we need to do on that. Let's get up here. And we'll get down here. I got an unknown signal to go and try to get, so let's do this. Let's go. Energy G. low. Uh, let's go. Uh, computer or programmable block, I guess is what they're called. Programmable block. And I do have that one available. All right. So I wanted to put uh, this programmable block right here actually so i've got the yeah i think this will be perfect because the idea is that it's going to control these so let's uh, go ahead and do this uh let's get our parts hopefully we got enough back there to build actually i'm going to what i'm going to do is go get charged up and we're going to go after that unknown signal. And see if we can't get some of the parts that we need out of that for our programmable block. All right. So we'll get in here. Get charged up. Here Energy we'll low. Sit in the seat here. And while we're charging in the seat, we can drop these off. All right, uh, and there we go, we're charged up. I must not have been on the floor. Magnetic boots had let go. All right, uh, All right, the unknown signal. Get it. All right, bring up our grinder. Yeah, hopefully it's not one that's moving. I know there's some tricks to trying to stay with it, but I got to figure those out at one of these one of these days. And let's. Uh, Hopefully this is just one that's going to be stationary. And it looks like it is. All right. Let's see if we got any goodies in here. Yeah, that's good. We can use those. And so let's start grinding away on this. Where's the? I want the canvas out of there. Which I believe if we. Go ahead and grind that out. 
That should get us to where we can get to the canvas. And we'll grab that. And I already disassembled all of that stuff that I'd been collecting, like antennas, those canvases and stuff. So that gave us quite a bit of resource that we could use. And I know we needed, I needed some computers or build those for the uh, programmable block. And I think we got some out of here. So this will help us with that build right there. All right, uh, there we go. And you know what? I'm gonna turn that unidentified signal off. We don't need that on. And turn that off right there. There we go, that's out of the way. All right, let's get back to our ship. I can find it here. Where are we at? There it is. All right. And... All right, let's uh, get back inside. All right, the outpost is right over here. All right, let's see how many parts we were able to put into this thing. Oh. Yeah, when I was cleaning it out, I thought I got that stuff all picked up. Uh, I accidentally was drilling for rocks instead of just uh, removing them. All right, let's see what we got. So we only need two large tubes now. All right, excellent. So that uh, unknown signal pretty much provided us with just about everything that we needed. Okay, uh, let's see, we can throw this down here, and let's get rid of this other excess stuff, that, 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 uh, we needed two large tubes, right, so let's make those, let's make four of them just in case. All right. Okay, let's grab the large tubes. And uh, let's get that fi finished getting that built. Okay, then we can get this in place. Okay, so now what we need to do, let's go in here. Uh, let's get into the programmable block. We are going to do a script. Uh, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, I gotta think about this. Give me just a second. Well, I think I need to edit. Yeah, here we go. Uh, browse scripts. And we want Izzy's... Where is it? Page inventory. Izzy's inventory manager. Like, oh. Izzy's solar alignment. What a great script that is. Okay, copy to the editor. Uh, let's uh, check code. Successful. Okay, so now 
we need to <clears throat> create a group called Solar Rotors. All right, let's do that. And let's, uh, where are they at? Here's our rotors. Those three rotors right there. Our block group is going to be called Solar? Solar. Solar. Rotors. And save. Now. Oh yeah, it's going to say damage. You know what? I, I should go ahead and finish building those out. Get the bulletproof glass. That way it's not going to show those as damaged. It's just showing it that they're incomplete. Uh, we should get, be able to go out there now and see those, see the rotors adjusting, or I hope that's what they're, they should be doing. Uh, where is it? Okay, here we go. And... I think it, yep, uh, the panels are moving. They're starting to adjust. It should start swinging around this way uh, so that it's facing the sun. And so we've got that in place. So now let's see how many, how many bulletproof pieces of glass did I need? Each one of these takes four. And I've got, uh, what, uh, 6, 12, 12 times 4 is 48, if my math is correct. So let's go make those 48 bulletproof glass. We should have enough materials to do that, that way they won't be showing as damaged. And let's go, where is it, bulletproof glass. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah. We'll make 50. We'll grab all of that. We'll get those repaired. Okay. Grab that. All right. And where is our panel? Oh yeah, they're getting turned ever so slowly. It takes a bit for the script to kind of get things into place. And then it will... All right, we can do that. Get that's one done. Energy low. Oh, that would figure. This one done. If we got enough energy to get these all done, all this is getting into place. That in the place. All right. Get the other side over here. Okay. Good. Got, uh, what? One more here. And just three over here. And... There we go. Energy critical. Okay, all right, I'll get to the ship, get some energy. Come on, let's get that done. You don't want to die out here. That would uh, not be good. All right, pop in. Okay. There we go. Charged up. 
now we should be able to go back inside and look at that programmable block or actually look on anything to get into our control panel we should see that the solar panels are all built and showing not damaged the only thing that will be left to build out the two batteries but this should give us an idea of where is our right over here Oh, uh, there's our outpost. And we're not going to get to the mining ship today. I didn't think so, but I was kind of hoping. All right, so if we go down here, and we can... S we saw that the rotors were turning. And so now our solar panels are 100%. And... Uh, yeah, it's telling me that I have a damaged battery. Uh, but our battery is recharging, which is good. So if we go to our battery here, it will be fully recharged in three hours. And so hopefully it'll get mostly charged, but that's good because we had uh, we were less than uh, a megawatt of power in the battery so now we've got uh, over a megawatt so that's getting that built and then the next thing we need to do is get these other three batteries up and online so I think let's go back out so this is where I've connected I uh, built or I tunneled down to where the solar panel is and then I've built blocks down to that platform down there so that that's all connected. So let's go back out here to the solar panel. I think that's probably a good place to call it good wherever it went. There it is. Oh, there we go. So it's just about got those panels all turned out to where it's uh, getting a full charge from the sun. And it, like I said, it takes a little bit for it to get into place. Uh, but you can see that it's turned and starting to turn towards the sun. All right. Well, I think, again, I think this is a good spot to call it quits. So uh, if uh, y'all like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And uh, please subscribe. It will really help the channel. Uh, okay, all you space engineers out there, uh, keep your heads low, keep building away, and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.